Hi guys, I'm Michelle. Today we're gonna unbox this pure mystery box. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. So let's get into this. This box is from Pure and it actually was shipped directly from Pure, but I purchased it on Ipsy.com. Um, Ipsy has a bunch of mystery boxes right now, which is really cool. Um, I had a Sig Sigma one, I just oiled a ray, uh, Royal and, oh my god, I can't pronounce the name right. Royal and Lang Nickel had a box. I don't even know what else they make. I just know I love this brush. So I ordered that one. Um, I heard about it through, I mean, I have Ipsy and I love Ipsy, but I actually didn't realize they had all these different mystery boxes until I was watching She Crafty's video and she was saying, hey, there's all these boxes. And so she she got a much more than I did. Um, so anyways, it was, I think like 1875, something like that. And then Ipsy does a thing where you can get cash back. So I think once I get the, the cash back, it'll be like almost $16, but you know, it's a great deal. So, and I'll, I'll go ahead and link it below the site the Ipsy site where the mystery boxes are, or if you go on ipsy.com, you can click on the very top, it says shopper. So click on shopper and then type in mystery. And they have a bunch of like Ipsy mystery bags too. Um, they have like, oh, they just started, um, you can get a five piece mystery bag from, I don't know, the Ipsy stuff from March or from April, or they have a bunch of them, skincare one. So anyways, let's check this out. I have had a pure palette that I got received in my FabFitFun box a long time ago and I really liked it. I really I liked the colors and I liked how it um, performed. It, it was really nice eyeshadow. Other than that though, I've never tried anything from here. So, oh it's like a bag inside a box. Okay, so there's my packing receipt. We've got the Dill. Oh, and I believe they had two different. I think they had. You know what? Maybe this was the more expensive one. Oh, gosh. I'll look. You know what? I'm going to have to look again because now that I see it says Deluxe, there might have been more than one mystery bag unless I'm thinking of something different. I will look and I will put it in the description. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I had it all planned out. I had it all figured out, but apparently I didn't. So looks like there's a couple samples in here. We've got the Pure See No More Deep Pore Cleanser, the Pure Melt Away Makeup Emulsifier Talette, and the Pure Clean Gentle Cleanser. So that's cool. I didn't even know Pure made cleansers and these kind of things. So some samples, so that was nice for them to send. And Open this baby up. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, looking good. I'm already excited. Look at that bag. That looks like a nice bag. Oops. Okay. So first thing we have here is a brush. We've got a pure, I've never tried any pure brushes. A precision crease brush. It's a nice brush. So this is precision crease. This is what the brush looks like. Let's see if I can, it's kind of like a densely packed, I like that, okay, nice, and we've got another brush, and they're cute little packaging, aren't they, has all the information on the back, this one is a brow sculpt and groom brush, so it has the, um, what's this thing called, I know this, I just can't, you know, for their brows. I cannot think of the, the name of it. Oh my gosh, I'm just completely drawing a blank. Okay, well it has that on one side, and on the other side it has to do your brows, and it looks like a nice, a nice one. Nice, thin, good brush. We have another brush. I think we have another brush. Ooh, this is the liquid chisel brush get this one open. Does anybody, does anyone use pure brushes? Has anyone out there used any? If you did, I'm curious. Do you like them? 
I had absolutely know nothing about, this is a nice heavy duty brush, um, nothing about the pure brushes. So this is like a du duo dual fiber one. I'm guessing this is liquid chisel. So maybe for um, liquid complexion products. Okay. And ha, one more brush. Oh, I like this one. This brush is the contour blending brush. I'm sorry, I got it upside down. Contour blending brush. They got nice thick. I like brushes like this. Ooh, that's gonna be nice because like I have a contour. I like that because I'll take it and kind of go like this. Yeah, I like this. I have a feeling this is gonna be my new favorite brush. Man, I wish I didn't already put on makeup. <laughs> okay, so I mean, pretty good. Four brushes already. I'd be happy with just that, to be quite honest. Okay. What's this? We've got an on point lip liner in the color low key. That's a nice, it looks like a felt pen, felt tip pen, you know. Oh, but it says sh to sharpen, turn that way. Okay, there we go. So that's a lip liner. And I guess you can... No, I don't understand. Oh, I got you. There's like a little sharpener inside of it, so if you turn it, it'll sharpen it. Okay. So that is the color. That's actually really pretty. Probably look good with what I'm wearing today. I'm not good at lip liner though. I'm really not. And, oh, there's two more things in here. Ooh, we've got another brush. It looks like the Artiste brushes. Uh, this is the Pure Skin Perfecting Concealer Brush. Uh, I can't get this open. I've never had, I've actually never had a brush like this because I wasn't sure if I'd like, I would like it. So I'm kind of excited to try it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at that. Nice soft handle. This is such a cute little brush. I don't know why I'm whispering. Ooh. I feel like I just want to like give myself a facial massage. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So now I got five brushes. Awesome. Okay, I believe there's one more thing in here. Yes. And we've got the Pure Pro Atine by Atine. Atine? Am I saying that right? Atine. I'm probably butchering it. So let's get this opened up. I'm guessing this is a palette. Mm -hmm, pretty. Oh, oh my goodness. I was trying to be all slick and show you. So this is a palette. I love that color. Of course I go to the dark colors. Oh, it's a, yeah. Oh, I kind of like this purpley color too. These are very pretty. Very, very pretty. Gosh, that color is so pretty. And, and I'm not much of a purple person, but I'm really liking it. Very cool. And I guess I should swatch some. So let's swatch. It's kind of hard for me to say. I don't have the best. I'm going to swatch Midnight and Billionaire and Paradise. So we've got Midnight, Billionaire, and Paradise. Ooh, they're like a very deep. Let me try this blue one again. It definitely is a lot darker than what it looks like in the pan there. Um, what else? Let me do a couple of the lighter. Let's do 
Moni or money. Moni, Moni. Oh wait, I didn't just do that. And Adobe and Dreamer. So this is Moni. Ooh, pretty. Adobe and Dreamer. Can't even see Dreamer. How about Legend? Let's try Legend. I mean, I should have just done them all. Very cool. I'm, I'm, this is kind of cool. This is a nice palette. Very nice palette. Okay. So that is my pure mystery bag. I'm super happy with this. I really am. I'm actually more excited about this than I was my Sigma mystery bag. And I was so excited about Sigma. But I mean, that's really cool. So we've got the palette. We've got one, two, three, four, five brushes, a lip liner, and a couple samples. So yeah, I'm. This is cool. Yeah, this is really cool. And like the lip liner, I don't know. We'll see. I don't. I should try it just to see. But I'm not really good with lip liners and stuff. I'm not. Um, just I'm not good with it. Might as well try it while, while we're here, right? Maybe with just a little gloss. I need tips on how to make my lips look fuller on top. I know there's tri tricks, I just don't know how to do them. And then that's kind of... Oh, my lips are so dry. It's ridiculous. Let me get some... Of course, I have my desk shut here. Let me get some... The color's pretty. I need some gloss or something. I'll put a little chapstick. And I have this, I don't know, Babo Botanicals NutriShine Hydrating Lip Luminizer. So we'll try that on on top of it. I mean, I kind of like it. Mm. Trying to get my teeth. I kind of like it. What do you guys think? I never wear color on my lips. I'm always so scared to do it. So anyways, what do you guys think? I actually, I, I like it. I can't believe it, I like it. So I'm very happy with this box. So what did you guys think? Do you think it's worth it? I think it's definitely worth it. Um, and again, I will put the link in the description and I will put the correct pricing in the description because I looked at it literally right before I got on here and I think I might've looked at the wrong one. I don't know. It's, it's either like 20 or 30 bucks, but I don't know. I'll link it. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a beautiful day.